I was on my way to the kitchen. I wanted to record. I put on my camera and it said camera error or what is it? Memory card error. So I thought I left it back home. I had to run back for it. Great start to the day. Losing it, buddy. Cool. Oh, I go to the kitchen with my boots because it's too cold to go with shoes. Good morning and welcome back or welcome if you are new to another cooking video. And of course we also make black tea because not everybody wants coffee, not everybody wants herb tea. We make coffee, herb tea and black tea always. It's Saturday. I've never done um, cooking weekend vlogs so I decided why not. I'll do it this week. I think it'll be fun. I actually finished the vlog that's supposed to go live, the cook week during the week. Is how you would say it. It's already done. Thumbnail is made. Ready to go live. Currently making a routine. Adding fenugreek. I've seen the previous video. This is great. If somebody has mucus. Okay, it's not cold. 8, 13. 14. Technically. I'm going home now. Uh, I'm still green. A little bit too oh, crunchy and bitter. Ah, no. You're doing good, Hannah. Thanks. Separating the egg yolks for um, uh, lemon pie pudding to lemon pudding tomorrow dessert Sunday dessert and I am almost done with the ketchup you gotta wash both ends both lids both ends Margaret's mm -hmm. um I love like Just currently watching my vlog because of things like this. Editing every space. It's supposed to say spare. Thank you, autocorrect. Thank you. The squash is baking. <laughs> Leftovers. Milk gewählt. Aber will nur da sagt zu mir und hat Dinge. Fisch. Flach big. Oh god, let's. Die Obwäsche. Well, I'm officially home from the kitchen. It is about 30, 35, 40, 7, 40 ish. I don't know. It's uh, 
too much. For supper we had Austin. How was the liver? Oh, so we had liver and onions, but we also had a bunch of leftovers. And if we have liver and onions and things like that, that we know the kids aren't going to eat, we give them leftovers instead. So we had liver, onions, and canned chicken. And that's something that our older people love. I don't. So I had leftovers. I had, again, crackling and eggs, salad, squash. It was a little bit hectic and I smell like fries and fryer and it doesn't smell good. It stinks. So I can't wait to go for a shower. But anyways, yeah, just, just a little bit of an update. We don't have breakfast on Sundays. We stopped doing that a while ago. So I don't have to get up at six. I don't have to be in the kitchen at six tomorrow. <laughs> It is. Oh, my cheeks are rosy. It's minus 19 outside. It is 9:25. We've been in the kitchen for half an hour now, and they're gonna start. They're gonna go to church in five minutes. Leah is um, a little bit now, and yeah, that's about it. We're we were all is ready for meal gaysen. What's up here today? Odds and ends. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Isn't it? Yeah, Single serving, cute, good enough. Good enough. And I was here helping us during the church service. Yeah. We needed it. So she's here. And if you wish, instead of if you don't want the pie crust, the mini pie crust, we also have cornflakes here that you can use. Is it not a grand idea? I think it is. Is this a dessert? <laughs> you might have seen this on my apron today. Hannah crocheted this keychain for me and it's just absolutely adorable. Just look at it. I have to show you a picture of the octopuses that she made. I think she has a whole family at home. This is quite something. Anyways, it's not quite four yet, but... No, not this place. Oh. It's not quite four yet, but I am heading to the kitchen. During the week, church is at six, but on Sunday, it's half an hour earlier, which means that everything is earlier. Supper is earlier, everything is earlier. I have a little less time to prepare my meal than I do during the week, so I like to go before four so that I can get everything done that I have to, and that I'm not too rushed, and not too stressed, and not too flustered. We have a crispy chicken for supper today and our meat still needs to be grilled as well as with the bacon so questions that i received in the last vlog that i posted on saturday some were some people were wondering who plans the menu and who makes sure that we have all the inventory that we need so the two cooks that are cooking plan the menu we plan breakfast and supper and the head cook plans the lunch menu the lunch items but if we have an idea for lunch we can run it by our cook and she'll most likely have it it's it's not right um written stone but it's it's just something that we do and as for inventory 
Our head cook does that. She's in the cook. She's in the kitchen. She takes care of all things kitchen related. So checking the inventory, ordering supplies and everything we need, that is something that the head cook looks after. And another one was um, about food allergies. How do we go about food allergies? If I'm cooking, do I have to cook for them? We are cooking for our entire community and that includes cooking for the people with food allergies. Right here, we have a list of all the food allergies and all the people that have the food allergy. Yes, I'm in the kitchen, I'm cooking. I'm not just cooking for the people with no allergy, I have to look out for everybody. And the food allergies that we have in our community are no gluten, no eggs, no pineapple, no nuts, no dairy, no fish, and no red sauces. I think the red sauces, there there might be a certain spice in red sauces that the people can't have, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. currently in the children's dining room. As you can tell, it's very kid-friendly. Um, we, when we ring the first call bell, we ring it for people that take food home. So if we have elderly people that can't come to um, supper or meals anymore, or people that are just not, if you're not feeling well, you stay at home. So that is what the first call bell is for. And then it's also for the kids to come eat because the kids eat before the adults. Hannah has everything ready here. Everything lined up and yeah, we do have an older baptized person that looks after the kids. It's a couple, so she'll be here soon. But Hannah helped her out and got everything ready. How nice. Word for that, for the person that looks after the kids while they eat, is a Isenshuel Ankela. An Isenshuel basically roughly translates to eating. Asen is eating, Shuel is Shuel, and Ankela is grandma. for my towels because they're still currently washing dishes. A ton of stuff to cover at home. Misty fits never ocean? Huh? So me I can wear wash high silly fits never ocean? Huh? Okay, now come.